This video is about using functions inside of other functions. So when we create a function, it's often useful to be able to use other functions inside of it. And that's definitely something we can do. We're going to start where we left off last time with two functions that we've already created, our calc shrub vol function and our est shrub mass function. And maybe we want to create a function that does this for us all in one step. So we'll call that function est shrub mass underscore dim for based on dimensions. And we'll create that using our function keyword. And now our arguments need to be uh, the length, height, and width, because we want to just automatically create a shrub mass based on that length, height, and width. So we'll give it length, width, uh, and height. And we'll go ahead and, and make that height argument optional, just like we have in calc shrub vol. And so now what I'm going to do is just call those functions in order inside of this function. So our first line will create the volume. So we'll call that volume. And that's running our calc shrub vol function with the length width and height arguments. Just like we did last time, we then want to create our mass estimate. And we'll do that by running est shrub mass with our volume as the input that we just calculated, the volume we just calculated. And then if I hit enter in the right spot, we'll return that mass to the outer program. We then run this code to create the function, which shows up over here. And then we can call this function uh, using est shrub mass dim. and our input arguments 0 0.8, 1 1.6, and we'll go ahead and hit set height back to 2.0. And we get out the right solution. And so we can do that with our own functions. We can do it with functions from packages. So if we needed to use dplyr functions or ggplot functions inside of a function, we can do that. And you'll notice that we did not need to pass the names of the functions in as arguments. So this is actually the one exception to this rule about treating a function as a black box. We should never assume that variables from the outer program are available inside of a function. But we can always assume that functions that are available in the outer program are available to functions to do calculations with. So that's how we use functions inside of other functions. Just make sure those functions exist by either creating them yourself or loading the package where they exist. And then uh, you can use them inside a function just like you could use them in code outside of the function. We can assume that functions that are available to the larger program are also available inside of any new functions that we create.